or you on this week's captains of industry. Recurrent droughts and floods. Kenya is already feeling the effects of climate change. Kenya Climate Innovation Center offers incubation, capacity building, and financing options to small businesses and entrepreneurs developing innovations to address challenges of climate change. Well, KTN's Brenda Kirubo spoke to Edward Mungai, the Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Climate Innovation Center, in this week's episode of, the, of Captains of Industry. Edward Mungai is the Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Climate Innovation Center. KCIC offers incubation, capacity building, and financing options to new small and medium business ventures and Kenya entrepreneurs that are developing innovations to address the challenges of climate change. Before joining KCIC, Mungai was the East Africa region head for the Danish International Investment Fund. much for giving us this opportunity we really appreciate a lot of companies talk about climate change but not so many of them actually implement sustainable solutions is this true well it is indeed there is a lot of conversations about climate change globally and also locally and I think the misconception is that or the dilemma is that people do still not have tools they do not have the knowledge and even sometimes they don't have that the, the goodwill you know, to do things that then will transform their activities to be more climate respecting. All right. Is sustainability the new way of doing things? Is it the new standard of operations? Indeed, sustainability is the new way of doing life. I mean, we talk about finance. It will transform to sustainable finance. We talk about production and manufacturing. It will only be sustainable manufacturing and sustainable production. And the essence of this is that customers are consistently asking for sustainable products. And we've seen a movement for sustainable consumption even locally here. As much as companies are doing their part, should government also introduce regulation in a bid to foster this? Private sector, which is companies, must be able to act. For them to act, we must also be able to provide them with an enabling environment. That enabling environment will come from government, both in terms of policies, in terms of incentives, and also in terms of you know, taxation regimes, and also you know, preferential kind of treatment in terms of procurement and things like that. Is it difficult pitching to investors sustainable solutions? Conversations between investors and those who are seeking money was sometimes very traditional, kind of plain vanilla where it's about internal rate of return. How much money do I make from this transaction, you know, from the perspective of investors? But in the recent years, about five years ago, we started seeing some, you know, tilting of that conversation towards more sustainability embedding within investment and within projects. So we are moving to purpose over profits? I think it's more. To, towards that. When you come about purpose, we are talking about profit, we are talking about planet, we are also talking about people. Is, you know, a trajectory where we bring these two facets, three facets together, and therefore we talk about three, uh, triple bottom line, and that is the future. So what does tomorrow look like in effect to climate change? Well, mixed feelings actually. For our continent, when it comes to climate change, we all must be able to take action, individually, as organization, as government. And if we miss the boat, you know, already we are talking about above 1.5 degrees centigrade. If we don't do anything, then we will be in a crisis. The good news is that we have seen government, and especially like the Kenyan government, being very progressive in this. You know, they've just changed, the, they've just revised the national determined contribution to 32% of emission from 30%. And that's a commitment from government. We need also commitment from, you know, from private sector. We need commitment from academia. So Edward, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? For me, is you know, transformation of lives. You know, it, it, I take it very deeply into my heart that, you know, when I was born, I cried, whereas the people who are surrounding me, they all rejoiced. When I die, truly, I want to rejoice. I want them to cry because of indeed of the difference that I'll have made to this world. 
and, and that difference is about livelihoods. What transformation have you made to people, both in terms of how they produce, but also in terms of behavior and, you know, awareness about these things. And hopefully, before I die, I can have 